Okay, so here's another match from the 1997 Canadian Grappling Championships, which was um, held in 1997, in case that's not obvious enough. And uh, predominantly, the footage features the Canadian judo team fighting just people who are not on the Canadian judo team. Here, here we go. Not sure if either of these gentlemen are judo players, actually. Maybe the one closest to us is, but he's not wearing a belt, so it's hard to say. I'm going to guess the guy with no shirt and black pants is not on the Canadian judo team. Maybe he's a jiu-jitsu guy, or possibly a wrestler. Look at that. That was a nice kataguruma, you know, or, you know, shoulder wheel or whatever it's called. Fireman's carry, you know. Perhaps this is wrestler versus judo, you know, but why is the wrestler wearing black pants? Out of the way there, person in a judo kimono. Maybe this is, maybe the guy in the black pants is a wrestler who has, uh, well, look at that. That was nice. That was really nice. Did you see that? Maybe that's a wrestler with some jiu-jitsu experience fighting a uh, judo player who um, maybe has some experience in some other stuff as well. Although often judo players are strictly judo. Like it's just, you know, at least when I was doing judo, I was the only guy that had done judo and some other stuff. Everybody else was just judo. And then I was like... I don't want to say an outcast, but it was frowned upon I had done other stuff. You know what I mean? Especially jiu-jitsu at the time. <clears throat> I, think become, I think it's become more understandable. It's, it's become more okay these days. But Anyway, the judo player is putting an arm lock on him. Looks like he sealed the deal on the guy. That was pretty good. That was a good throw, a good reversal. Oh, look, there's a really old Mark. There's a really young Mark Bocek. Later becomes a UFC fighter. There he looks to be 14 or something. Anyway, hands are shaking. Off they go. If you know who these people are, write it in the comments below.